Hello everyone, this is Carlos from Interactive Geomaps and in this video we're going to talk about the legend feature which allows you to add a legend entry to your maps, something like this. The legend can also be interactive, when you click in this case it toggles the visibility or it can just be a um, non-interactive legend. So I'm going to create a new map, I'm going to call it legend demo and you can find the legend option here if you don't if you have the pro version and you don't see it most likely it's disabled in the settings i'm going to save this go to the settings here in the map features tab the map tabs and features you can enable and disable features and make sure the legend feature is enabled okay back to our map We're going to start talking about the auto legend, which is a bit more complex. So I'm going to enable it. Uh, it's not going to do anything because we don't have any data in our map. So the plugin, if you enable the auto legend, will automatically create legend entries for your series of data. <coughs> Sorry. And what's the, a series of data? So each one for regions, round markers, image markers, vector labels, and lines. These or a series of data so if if we add like 10 regions it will all be the region series uh, we have 20 markers it will all be a series of markers okay let's uh, create something so we understand better I'm gonna just add some red some uh, few countries okay and I'm also gonna add some markers clicking here on the preview directly okay now we have some regions and some markers but still nothing happens where's our legend so there's one extra step we need to make which is to go come here and we're in this case we're in the regions tab and we're going to enable the showing legend we're going to call it regions the same for round markers And markers there might be a case where you have different series of data and you want some to display in the, the legend and others not so this option exists so now we should see okay we should see uh, the legend here so going back to the legend let's see the options that we have oh first of all you see it inherits this green color it's the default color for your series so I'm gonna set the regions to red the reasons will the regions will turn red and now also the legend is red I'm gonna change some things a little bit okay back to the legend options uh, clickable it's disabled right now you have two options toggle visibility or highlight Let's preview the highlight. So when we over, it's going to highlight, in this case, the markers, in this case, in the regions. The toggle visibility, if we click, it's going to hide the markers, show the markers. In regions, I'm going to click all of the regions will disappear because they're a single series. But this will make more sense after when we start adding different re re uh, series of regions well, in the next few minutes. Uh, the position of the legend, so in the, we can place it on the left, on the in the middle, so it should display here. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the bottom, in the center, and the style. It's uh, the size. We can make it extra small or even larger I'm gonna leave the regular and the color of the text okay so also I want to show you a common issue with the legend so I'm gonna preview this so it, it works, we're seeing it, but on mobile, 
sometimes you might have the legend that it's over it's overlapping the the regions uh, me. okay you see here uh, if you don't want this to happen <coughs> sorry um, one solution is to come to the visual settings and the map height on mobile and increase it a little bit so instead of this 56 default uh, we'll set the, the height on mobile to be a little bit bigger so then we have some extra horizontal uh, vertical space and the legend will be displayed a bit further down <coughs> And back to legend so um, we've we went through the options available and uh, but I'm, imagine you want to have different sets of regions and different sets of markers so to have different sets of markers we would have to include other maps so this map displays other uh, sets of uh, series of regions and series of markers and to do that we use the overlay feature I have another video on the overlay, fe overlay feature, you can watch that to understand better but basically it's just displaying on this on this same map um, entries from the other maps so I'm going to create a new map and I'm going to call it uh, letter A and I'm going to add the countries that start with the letter A almost okay and uh, I'm gonna come down here to the overlay maps and I had previously created some other um, maps letter C letter B uh, I can also include some markers okay I'm gonna publish okay so now we see some uh, a lot of different uh, colors here because there's uh, data coming from the different maps so I'm going to enable the legend the auto legend um, toggle visibility bottom center and the default style okay ah, so now we see we only have the letter C and if it, this happens to you most likely it's because the showing legend is not enabled letter A and okay we see the letter A and what it's the letter B that is missing so I'm gonna come to the letter B regions showing legend letter B back to our letter letter a okay i'm gonna increase a little bit also the height here on this map okay so letter b letter c the markers and uh, actually the letter a it's this full set of regions so if you want if you want to avoid this you probably want you create basically instead of creating this letter a or uh, apart from creating this you create a base map where you enable the legend so this I'm gonna go back I'm just gonna leave this as the letter a map okay and I'm gonna add a new map I'm gonna call it base map I'm gonna overlay now just only the regions come to the legend enable bottom center again increase a little bit the height okay so now a b c well if you want to change the order you can actually drag and drop this a b c so now did I not enable the okay toggle visibility okay so 
this is the auto legend hopefully it's uh, clear it's a bit tricky to understand the overlay uh, but once you get it um, it's it's gonna be easy so if if the purpose of your of your map is to create this kind of filter consider that when using the overlay maps there is also an external live filter option it's different from the legend but I still want to show you it's not gonna show here on this preview we have to see the live map so it's basically um, we have to adjust some settings so this works uh, correctly uh, keep keep base map okay so all we only want letter a we only want letter b we only want letter c okay so this is different because like the this one toggles the visibility and this one shows only those in case depends on what you want to achieve it's different from the legend there's no colors it's just a, a filter but still wanted to show you as an alternative if your purpose is to toggle visibility okay so now um, I'm gonna disable external live filter I'm gonna disable also the auto legend okay and now to the custom legend the custom legend will only create entries we want we it doesn't rely on the um, series of data we can uh, create the legend ourselves the difference or the main difference is it's not going to be um, interactive it's just going to exist on the map oh okay not going to do anything but it exists maybe you just need a color coded legend to explain wha what um, the colors mean in the map and type internal I'm going to show what the external is in a couple of minutes the, and then the options are similar to the other legend options the position we can place it on top in the center and the style extra small okay and now I'm gonna show you what the external is the external is it's we're gonna we're not gonna display the legend inside the map but when we the map displays the legend is gonna display outside so the, when you create the legend normally it's it's part of the SVG of the map it's part of the image of the map if we create the external type it's a div a normal HTML div that um, uh, the plugin creates outside the map and in case you can also target with custom CSS and uh, it, it works better also in, on mobile in, in the sense that it's never gonna overlap uh, like the other might and uh, depending on what you need you might prefer to have this external so you have more freedom and and uh, customize with CSS or the internal normal one uh, that creates these shapes as in the map SVG so overall I think uh, that's it uh, for the legend feature uh, hopefully the video was helpful if you come across any issue or have any question uh, feel free to contact us through the official site uh, to ask for support cheers